Hi, my name is John. Today will be part two of building a pellet maker to make custom pellets for my injection molding machines. Welcome to another episode. In a previous episode, and you'll find the link below, I talked about how I was planning to uh, extrude some filament using raw ABS plastic and some master batch for coloring and anti-static properties. The question I had at the time, and it took me a while to figure out how to handle it, is how I would take the filament and chop it into short segments, in other words, pellets. The filament is going to be about three millimeters in diameter, and I want the pellets to be, oh, probably four or five millimeters long, something like that. I stewed about this for a long time, had a lot of ideas, wasn't really happy with them. And then recently I was watching a video from Tom Lipton where he showed a device that does exactly what I want. So I sent Tom an email asking for more information and it turns out that he doesn't have the device anymore. He traded it. But in the meantime, I got some hints from watching his video that gave me an idea of how to proceed. And the first one is to use a spray clutch, which will rotate in one direction, but not the other direction. So let me go and show you some experiments and then give you an idea of where I'm planning to go. Since I have a 3D printer, I decided to see what I could build with a 3D printer. This allows me to try out ideas quickly. And I am not smart enough to come up with a complete design in the beginning. So I started with something simple. And the first thing is I have a, um, a pinion here and then a rack. And the rack fits into the slot here so it can go back and forth. First of all, this is a sprag clutch that I got. And if I hold the center, you can see that I can rotate this way. But if I try to rotate in the other direction, I'm pushing really hard and I can't resist it because it's a one-way clutch. I redesigned this part here uh, so that I have a fence to help keep the rack in place, as you can see there. And then we have the rack as before, which just slides into there. Now, actually it's a different rack. So it's uh, this one here. <clears throat> I made some changes to it. And the reason I made changes is because I have this cage here that will enclose the spray clutch and then this just uh, fits onto the top if I can get the orientation correct like so and now it becomes effectively one piece uh, with a, but it can come apart fairly easily so this has uh, four holes in the back so that I can push the clutch out and the clutch itself is keyed as you can see here so I just put the clutch, clutch in like that and then uh, again, put this in, it's keyed as well. And then I can put this on here and you can see that rotates very nicely. And the idea is that I'm going to have a, a mechanism like you, in the video, if you watch the video, that will push on either side and move this back and forth. The next thing is I took and uh, printed a piece that'll go inside the spray clutch that has a gear, hobbed gear. And the hop gear is designed for either 1.75 or 3 millimeter uh, 3D printer filament. Now this gear is uh, fairly small in diameter. I may want a larger gear. I'm going to do some experimenting and figure out. And I do have a larger gear somewhere around. I just have to locate it. So again, this has a, a key in it that fits right there. And then what you'll notice is that if I hold on to this, I hope you can see this. So if you look at the top right here, you can see that it's only spinning in one direction. Now I'm having to put a bit of force on this because it takes more effort than I realized to counteract the reverse rotation that is allowed. Okay, so I have this uh, cutter right here, which is, this is actually designed for, it's a Xeron cutter and it's designed for spring steel. So it's very, very strong, much stronger than I need. The thing that I like about it, though, is it has an opening that's large enough for the three, milli three millimeter filament. 
and you have quite a bit of leverage to close it. So my thinking is that I'll mount this somewhere along here. The filament will go through here. And then I'll have a wheel that I, I turn that will have an eccentric on it that pushes down on this. And then on kind of the alternate clock, it'll push this so that it advances the filament. And so my thinking with this is uh, with pretty much mostly 3D printed parts, I can make something that will last for an awful lot of filament. And the reason I say it should last for an awful lot of filament is because they make uh, gears in 3D printers, or at least they used to, that could print for hundreds and hundreds of hours. And it's not going to take me that long to cut up the filament into pellets that I need to injection mold a thousand parts, which is what I need to be able to do. Anyway, so that's where my thinking is. Uh, I'll have another video once I've made more progress, and then you can see um, how it progresses. Mm -hmm.